In this tutorial we're going to look at how to set up Studio 4 with the C24 and Pro Tools. Um, so the first thing you will need to do is make sure that the room is all switched on and powered up and there's an emergency stop breaker on the wall that if you just pull out the emergency stops and turn the key it will power up all the kit and the room. Um, now you need to make sure that the Avid HD IO and the HD Sync are switched on and then launch Pro Tools um, and go to the setup playback engine select HD native as the audio driver then you'll need to go to setup peripherals Ethernet controllers go to Ethernet port 2 and select the C24 and that will make the tr control surface come alive if it's uh, if it's not already online the next thing you'll need to do is when you create a new session in Pro Tools um, is you'll have to choose your sample rate so 44.1 for audio uh, for CD 48k for video 96 for DVD and 192 for Blu-rays and uh, PS4 games and stuff like that so if you're working in those formats you'll want to set the sample rates uh, accordingly at the start because you can't change that once you've once you've set it up in Pro Tools the next thing you'll need to do is set up the IO settings and instead of using last used or stereo mix etc in this room it's particularly good to use the C24 mix because then it already automatically configures all of the input and output routing um, as per the hardware that you've already got in the studio so that's worth selecting and clicking OK then you can just save the project with a titled name Now I'm going to import a backing track into Pro Tools and then we'll have a little look at creating some tracks as well. So I'm going to create an additional track to do some recording on, so a mono audio track. I'm going to create a stereo auxiliary track and a master fader as well. So if you want to create a kind of separate headphone mix you can do that via the aux input. So I'll just create those and label them accordingly. So in this case we're going to imagine I'm going to record some vocals over the top of this and create a separate headphone mix or create the possibility for a separate headphone mix by using the, the cue there for the cans and then the master fader as well. Now the next thing we're going to set up and make sure is all working is the actual speakers and the monitors in the room. So to start with we're going to make sure that the monitor mode is set to stereo and that the lights for the left and right speaker are illuminated and um, that can turn off the individual speakers within the 5.1 setup um, and a common setting that is also usually set up as a, a default when you first turn on the desk or when you first come into the room is that mute is usually set on the monitor as well so we're going to just go and unmute the desk and then we're going to select our source as the main mix that's what we want to monitor through the monitors and we don't have an alternative set of monitors so we're going to uh, deselect that button and then turn up the control room volume as our kind of master volume for the room so these are the kind of important settings first our stereo mode and make sure the right monitors are selected uh, if we've got 5.1 or whether we're in stereo then we want to select our main mix and not have any of the others the alternative surround or stereo 1 or stereo 2 selected then we want to have our control room dial turned up and make sure that mute is not lit up either and now when we press play inside Pro Tools we'll be able to actually monitor our track through the main speakers now to set up the headphones you can simply select the main to Q button underneath the Q volume dial there in the monitor section and that will just send a carbon copy of the signal out to the headphone amp and then if we want to talk back to our performers in the live room we can turn up the dial for the talkback mic and press the talkback button that's down by the transport controls at the bottom right of the desk and then we can see that there will be some signal routed through to the headphone amp and that will go through to the live room where we can plug in our mic and our headphone leads as well into the wall box of the live room and now if we set up input monitoring and record enable the track we'll be able to 
set some levels and actually record back in Pro Tools. Another thing we might need to do if we're using a condenser mic, we might need to turn on phantom power, which is located at the top left hand part of the C24 desk in banks 1 to 8 and 9 to 16 of phantom power. So be careful when you're planning what mics to put in the wall box and into what order, especially if you're using some of the ribbon mics, there's uh, only works in banks of 8. And you can set your levels at the preamp stage at the top of the C24 here by adjusting the dial that I'm moving just now. And you can select your source slash high pass filter with this button here. So that's mic, mic with a high pass filter, a line or a DI, or a line or a DI with a high pass filter there as well. So I'm just going to switch that back to mic. And once you've done that, you are ready to record in Pro Tools.